all right good day good day everyone and welcome back to my channel so we are going to get started with our nightly surrender i hope you all are doing well if you're new to this channel go ahead and hit like comment and subscribe tap my notification bell so you can get all the updates and alerts and if you are one of the originals thank you for coming back time and time again i really appreciate you guys remember to share these nightly surrenders guys all right so spirit what do we need to surrender tonight all right let's get this good shuffle in today y'all i don't usually shuffle my cards like this but we're gonna go ahead and see how how this works out <laughs> all right let's see all right let's go So today, we are to surrender to wonder and awe. <sighs> Alright, so this card says to open to the magic of every moment and sense the awe and wonder in all of life. Alright, this attitude will keep you connected to the ecstasy of flow. So, Spirit just wants you to just... Look around and see how amazing everything is in spite of everything else. The divine just wants you to see how spectacular, how magical everything is around you in spite of everything else. And look at her. Look at her. It's like almost as if like she's in she she has two parallels right here. She got the darkness and she got the light. But but although she's face with the darkness spirit is telling her like just focus on the light like look at all this beauty around you even though all this crap is going on in your world right now look at all this beauty around you so just surrender to the awe surrender to the magic surrender to the good that is all right oh spirit is also saying surrender to receiving support and love all right, surrender to receiving support and love. And so allow love and support of others in rather than trying to handle everything yourself. All right, this can take the pressure off and simultaneously nurture you. So Spirit's saying, look, there are so many people here willing to help you. There are so many people out there that are, you know, been placed in your path to assist you. So we need you to surrender to receiving that support. Let go of your pride. Like you don't need to have so much pride. Just reach out. And in return, you'll be replenished. Just by asking for help. You can't do it all yourself. You can, but it burns you out. So spirit is saying, reach out to somebody else. And watch how it nurtures you. Watch how it replenishes you. So yeah. Mmm. Surrender to negative thinking. Again, we don't want anything taking control of our thoughts, all right? We don't want any negativity on the surface, okay? We want to refocus all negativity with positivity. So with your affirmations, you know, remaining positive in your affirmations. So surrender that negative thinking. I'm going to go ahead and give y'all another surrender card. I was feeling, I'm feeling really generous here. Ooh, so again, surrendering to that effortlessness, all right? So still just flowing, man. Just surrendering to the flow, just allowing it to happen. Just continue to allow it to happen, all right? Yeah. So surrendering to awe, surrendering to support, to receive and support and love, surrendering your negative thinking, and surrendering to effortlessness, all right? So that's awesome. Just going with that flow. Just going with that flow. Spirit, what else? What else, Spirit? What else do we need to know tonight? Tell you, I'm going to shuffle my cards differently. I don't usually do this. I, this is not my shuffle. But I'm just feeling like, hey, let's try this today. You know? I'm a spades player, y'all. I shuffle my cards how I play them spades, y'all. <laughs> I'm a Jim Rami too. I played a little Jim Rami too. 
All right, let's see what we got here. Mm. Powerful light worker, and this came upside down. And remember what I told you guys? I I emphasize on the upside down cards, so it's saying that you know you're powerful. All right, your spiritual power brings great blessings. Okay, so you are powerful. Some of you have this 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 touch energy, like this energy in everything that you touch. All right, you are very powerful. You can heal things with your hands. All right. Some of you are able to heal things with your hand. And the divine wants you to know how powerful of a light worker that you are. All right. You might be, you know, thinking negatively about your gifts, but spirit's like, no, you are powerful. Surrender that negative thinking. I put you in this position for a reason. Yeah. If you get nervous, focus on your service. So focus on what you're good at. If you get scared, you get nervous. Focus on what you're good at. Focus on the thing that you're good at. Focus on servicing others. Focus on helping others. And in return, it's going to make you feel better. Okay? Cut that cord. Hey, cut that cord. Cut that fear cord. Cut that thing that's holding you back. All right? So you got to ask your spirit, guys. Mark, uh, you got to ask your angels. Um... Archangel Michael to clear the old attachments of fear that stems from your past relationships. All right. Freeing yourself from destructive patterns as well. So you gotta cut the cord on those those past relationships that are that have you bind it up. And you also need to cut the cord on um you also need to cut the cord on um, you know, any types of destructive patterns, you know, that you establish throughout those relationships and whether those relationships be with friends or significant others or anything like that but you definitely want to cut the cord on all that anything that uh you know rec recreates this lifestyle for you this negative part of the life go ahead and cut the cord on it so spirit is wanting you to release all of that and let it go it's no longer yours it no longer serves you you no longer serve it it's done so call for spirit Call forth your guides, call forth your ancestors to help and ask them to help you with releasing that toxicness. You know, help you with releasing those destructive behaviors, help you to release those limiting thoughts. All right, let's look into y'all spiritual path really quick. Okay, let me do some right here. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> I know y'all over there laughing at me. I don't know. Space is my game. Alright. Mm. So. Travel, 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 travel. This one's upside down. You must travel to fulfill your life purpose. I know with this coronavirus, it's difficult for anybody to travel. But your life purpose involves in travel. That's what are traveling in your neighborhood. Going, doing some missionaries. Something. Um. But it involves travel, you know. You, you, your life purpose, part of your life purpose is traveling. You're going to have to travel to do your work, okay. You're going to have to get out of your your area to do your work, you know. Maybe, uh, you know, going to shelters, battered women's shelter, battered men's shelters, um, going to homeless shelters, um, You yeah, going to schools. But you're going to have to travel because that's part of your life purpose. And once this corona thing is lifted, get it out of this, get it out of your state. Yoga. All right. <laughs> your life enhanced by yoga, stretching and exercise. Look, you, Spirit is saying that you're going to get more out of life by doing your yoga and exercise and things like that. Okay. So make sure that you guys are paying attention to that and getting that getting that daily exercise all right aligning those chakras with that yoga maintaining that balance okay but your life involves yoga your life involves your life purpose involves stretches some of you guys are going to be healing people like with some chakra aligning here maybe reiki i mean because i see all of the chakras here so maybe reiki maybe uh yoga maybe um something that centers and balances people all right Spirit, what else do we have? 
All right, so it's, it's a transformation coming for a lot of you. Oh, <laughs> wow. So a big transformation is coming for a lot of you, and this transformation must happen. All right, because and you and some of you guys are experiencing this enormous transformation right now. Some of you guys are experiencing this enormous transformation right now, and this transformation definitely had to happen. It's you're being purified, you know, you're being purified, and things are shifting, but things are shifting for the better, all right? Not for the worst, things are happening for the best, all right? Also, again, you expecting these miracles here. This was from last night's nightly surrender. Expecting these miracles and taking this leap of faith, all right? Taking this leap of faith, knowing that. The divine is going to be there to help heal you. All right. Spirit saying they got you. They got your back. All right. So y'all don't stress out. Sometimes things don't seem like it's happening when it's happening. All right. And that's why I didn't want you to take that leap of faith. Because Spirit is saying they already worked something out for you. You know. You might not uh, know it. But they worked it out already. All right, so this transformation, once this transformation occurs, you're definitely going to see this miracle. All right, and they're gonna, and it's going to present itself, and they're like, hey, take this leap of faith. We got you. Just trust in us. All right, Spirit, what are we healing tonight? What are we healing? I had to pull out one of these little, uh, what do you call that? One of these spades, uh, spades little shuffles then. That way we can get a good one in. What are we healing, Spirit? All right. Mm. Hmm. All right. So this card, selling out. We need to heal this. It's almost as if we're selling out, selling, selling ourselves out just to fit in somewhere. We're selling ourselves out. We're not being who we truly are. Just to feel like we belong somewhere. This card came upside down. So this is when well, all of these cards came upside down. So spirit really want me to really dissect these tonight. So selling out. Entrapment. Looks like somebody's gaining control back over their life. And here we have say what you mean. Okay, so what it looks like it's been happening here is like somebody else been in control of your life. Somebody else, something else, you know, maybe an addiction, maybe a person, but it's been in control of your life. And you kind of like, you, you, you're, you're like on path, but you're like not. Like you're, you're like halfway doing what you're supposed to be doing. And, and you are... Presenting yourself to the world one way, only to fit in that situation. So, like you know, like the mask, take you got that mask on that that facade, all right, and you know it's a facade, and you know that it's not who you really are, and so you need to heal that. Because you can be who you are. It is safe for you to be exactly who you are. Alright. So Spirit is saying that you need to heal that part of yourself. And stop selling yourself out. You know. Stop doing things that you really don't feel like doing. Something transpired to where you, you feel like if you do it that way. That you'll be accepted easier. And Spirit saying, no, they don't want you doing that no more. Because you're compromising who you are by doing that. And right here, it's been somebody else controlling your whole life. Like a magician, like a, you know, like a puppeteer. And you've been trapped. Entrapment. And so it's, now it's time for you to regain control over your life. And this could be this could be an addiction. This could be a person that has been doing this. All right. But spirit is saying that it's time for you to heal that and that you need to gain control over your life again. I 
Next, say what you mean. If you meant that, then that's what it is. Say what you mean. Stop saying what you think makes people comfortable. Don't say what makes people comfortable. It's time out for comf comfort. You see, we're in a lot of discomfort because people maintain comfort. All right. Everybody was all comfortable with how things were and now there's a lot of discomfort now you can't go where you want to go you can't work how you want to work you can't do what you want to do because no one decided to say anything or do anything about the things that were happening until it was too late and so you don't want to be like that you don't want to finally say something when it's too late when all of this damage is already done spirit is saying say exactly what's on your heart Say what you mean. Stop being afraid to be who you are. Stop being afraid to own your life. Stop being afraid to say exactly what's on your mind. Fear. Release that fear. Surrender that fear. All right. Now we're going to go with these four agreements, y'all. All right. So. Those healing cards are heavy, guys. Got two agreements out of the four agreement. Those healing cards are heavy because we are really dealing with a lot here. We're dealing with a lot. We're un we're unpacking a lot. All right. So this agreement said, "Don't make assumptions. Discern the truth." <laughs> so here we go with this truth key again. All right. So discern the truth don't make assumptions the problem with making assumptions is that we believe that they are the truth we make assumptions we misunderstand we take it personally then we react by sending emotional poison with our words okay this creates a whole big drama for nothing okay so the divine don't want us making uh assumptions anymore they want us to be cautious of you know what we take in all right so once we assume something to be true you know then we begin to believe it and then once we make these big old assumptions like we take it out of context we take it personally we take it out of context we blow it out of proportion it turns into a whole big thing and then our relationships are ruined all right spirit saying don't do that spirit saying dig deeper for the truth all right and don't be so piercing and saying things which are words that uh you know that could be hurtful all right there's no need for drama all right it's like making assumptions create unnecessary drama in certain situations so spirit is saying don't do that all right the next one is be impeccable with your words again oh we really need to be impeccable with, with our words seek to know the truth oh man it's all about the truth here oh man we need to know the truth spirit like true 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 all right, so when you hear an opinion and believe it, you make an agreement and it becomes part of your belief system. The only thing that can break this agreement is to make a new one based on truth. Only the truth has the power to set you free. All right, so listen. We go out and we find this truth. And once something is true to us, we make it a part of our lifestyle. We make it a part of our life. And Spirit is saying that the only way they can stop you from believing in that truth is if you go out and find that new truth. All right? And Spirit is saying that only the truth will set you free. So a lot of the stuff that we know may not be the truth what Spirit is saying. And so Spirit is saying that they need you to go out and seek the real truth. And then that truth will free you of any uncertainty and any... Um, and anything that has been untrue up until this point okay all right so tonight you guys we are surrendering to wonders and awe all right so we're going to surrender wonder and awe so just enjoying the beauties of the world regardless of how turbulent things may be all right 
and we're surrendering to receiving support and love just knowing that there's people there to love on you and hug on you and just do all of those amazing things for you even if you don't want to reach out to them spirit is saying reach out to them anyway and then they say surrender that negative thinking so whatever it is that you're battling with that you think about yourself that is untrue these false limiting beliefs that you have placed in yourself spirit is saying to surrender that and just go with that flow y'all just go with the flow okay so i hope you guys really um gain something out of this message just know that this big transformation is coming all right this big transformation you are powerful spirit is saying that you know you they gave you these gifts for a reason they want you to travel the world with these gifts and they want you to you know help people through a yoga and you know with aligning and maybe some reiki they want you to cut the cords on all that some toxic relationships and cut the cord on all these behaviors that are showing up from this toxic relationship that you're dealing with we're saying that once this transformation comes, that it's going to be this amazing miracle, but they just need you, you to have this faith. Spirit is saying that you got to take this mask off and you got to stop being someone that you're not. All right. And most importantly, go ahead and go and dig for that truth. All right. So that's it, guys. I hope you like this reading. If you did, drop me a comment and I'll talk to y'all later.